Stu Leonard Sr. was born in Norwalk, Connecticut on December 1st, 1929. He founded one of the most famous food retailers in the world, Stu Leonard's. A graduate of the University of Connecticut School of Agriculture, he began with his roots in the family dairy business at Clover Farms Dairy in Norwalk, Connecticut. My dad had a small dairy and I planned to go back and run my father's dairy someday, delivering milk to people's houses in the middle of the night. There was never one day that you wanted to get up to go to work, I'll tell you that, two or three o'clock. It was a state-of-the-art dairy by the standards of the time, with the pasteurizing and bottling plant and fresh milk delivered daily by trucks that had plastic cows on the front that moved for neighborhood children. The milkman is trusted in the family. The customer and the milkman always were friends. In the late 1960s, Stu Leonard realized the milk delivery business was going the way of the Iceman. His confidence that it was time to start something new was driven home when the state informed him that Clover Farms Dairy was in the path of a new highway. The first dream that I had was to build a little store with a little dairy plant and survive. In December 1969, Stu Leonard's opened its doors, a 17,000 square foot store carrying just eight items. His prolific career was underway, and through good times and bad, one constant would remain, his wife Marianne. All of a sudden, the sun came up, and down the stairs came my wife Marianne. She, she said, what's the matter, Stu? And I said, everybody said I'm crazy. I'm not going to make it. She said, don't listen to them. They're the ones that are crazy. It was that belief and confidence in you that made it possible. Sometimes when your attitude changes like that, you start believing in yourself more. It makes all the difference in the world. When I look back on it today, that was one of the key turning points in my life. When I first opened the store on the first day, I was standing at the front door you know, and shaking hands and thanking people for coming, you know, and they were coming in the store now. And, and I was so happy. And all of a sudden, this customer walks in and she hands me a half gallon of eggnog. And she said, this is sour. I took a little bit and tasted it. And I said to her, immortal words, you're wrong. It's not sour. In fact, it might be a little spicy. And she said, I want my money back. And I reached in my pocket and the eggnog was 95 cents and I gave her a dollar bill. And she, she just took the dollar bill and she started out the store and she looked back at me and she said, I'm never coming back in this store again. Right here I have everything in the world invested in this business. I'm advertising, I'm doing everything, trying to get the customers here. And then I'm driving away by telling them they're wrong. The customer can never be wrong. The customer is always right. Stu credits Dale Carnegie and Walt Disney for shaping his mindset and vision for the store. He revered the lessons learned in Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, as the gold standard for customer service. A family trip to Disneyland would spark his imagination and pave the way for an unforgettable shopping experience. We feel very strongly that, like Disneyland, happy customers come back. The dairy store Stu Leonard founded in Norwalk not only became the world's largest dairy store, according to Ripley's Believe It or Not, but also earned a place in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the highest dollar sales per square foot of selling space. One of the things that we're doing here, we're bottling the milk in the back, and the milk in the dairy plant, and the milk is coming out on the conveyor right out of the refrigerator. Not only are you making the products right here, but you're selling them right here with a minimum of handling. The company has also received worldwide acclaim for excellence in customer service and quality and is featured in two of management expert Tom Peters' books, A Passion for Excellence and Thriving on Chaos. Stu was presented with the Presidential Award for Entrepreneurial Excellence in 1986 by President Ronald Reagan and he was named one of the top 50 visionaries by Supermarket News in 2002. Throughout the course of his life, Stu was consistently recognized by his peers and the media for excellence in retailing and entrepreneurship. Stu, a prolific writer throughout his life, published a memoir, Stu Leonard, My Story, in 2009 with co-author Scotty Reese. He loved spending time on the water, both on Long Island Sound and at his home on St. Martin. He won the 1956 North American Water Ski Championship and set a world and national record in point totals for trick water skiing in 1959. He additionally invented and patented a device called the Ski Trainer, 
which was attached to a tow rope and was designed to teach people to water ski. One of Stu's favorite things to do throughout his life was to stand at Stu Leonard's front door to greet customers, oftentimes by name. Thanks for coming in. You gonna work here when you get bigger? Yeah, maybe. I hope so. He loved giving back to the community and had a giving heart. Today, Stu Leonard's has grown to become a $600 million business with seven grocery store locations. It was named as Fortune Magazine's 100 Best Companies to Work For for 10 years in a row. We choose the people that are happy and enthusiastic because we feel that enthusiasm is the key to dealing with people. You can't fake it. It's got to be sincere. It's got to be sincere. Stu Sr. was a strong believer in families working together. He created a unique organization built upon the foundation of Team Spirit. The company is run by Stu's son, Stu Leonard Jr., alongside his other children, Tom, Beth, and Jill, and the third generation. Many of his grandchildren have also joined the business. My daughter Beth started the bakery, and now I'm very proud of the fact that she built the biggest in-store bakery in the United States. My son Tom, he started our Danbury operation by a tent right out in the field. Boy, you know what, it was so big we built a store there. And then Jill, she runs the HR for the entire company. And of course, Stu is the president and CEO, and he's doing a marvelous job now. Nice to be a dad in the family business, I'll tell you that. Dale Carnegie wrote, a smile costs nothing, but creates much. It enriches those who receive without impoverishing those who give. It happens in a flash, and the memory of it sometimes lasts forever. It creates happiness in the home, fosters goodwill in a business, and is the countersign of friends. Yet, it cannot be bought, begged, borrowed, or stolen, for it is something that is no earthly good to anybody till it is given away. For nobody needs a smile so much as those who have none left to give. I think one of the most important things that anybody, business people and anybody, can do in their life is to think positive. When something really bad happens to you, look for the good in it. Because, you know, a lot of times things happen for the best.